Hey folks, the Rope Forceman here. It is 2.08 p.m. on February 24th, 2023 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is zero degrees outside with a wind chill of minus two on a cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.7 kilometers starting by the transit bus stop at Granville and Drake. Then stroll northeast on Granville, southwest on Nelson, northeast on Butte, ending my trek in the west end by the transit bus stop at Robson and Butte. If you would like to support the channel and help me purchase some new equipment, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here. We're going to do a narrated video. Uh, we're currently on Granville Street and we're approaching Davie right now. It's about uh, zero degrees outside today. It's a rather cold day for Vancouver. Um, you can see lots of different people. Some people will be experienced with dressing for the cold weather and other people will not be experienced with dressing for the cold weather. And then you'll just see some people who are also experienced, but they're just layering up with additional layers of clothing instead of a nice warm coat. Because it is only zero degrees outside right now. And there isn't a wind chill or anything like that. So it's not that cold, but it is cold. Now, of course, when I looked at the weather today, for Toronto, I realized that it was significantly colder. <laughs> you guys are around like uh, minus 10 or something like that. So, <laughs> zero compared to minus 10, big difference. Just passing the Cloud Vape City right now. And you can see Granville's considered one of Vancouver's entertainment streets. So you'll see lots of people on this street most times of the day. Of course, they want to make it 24 hour eventually, or that's what's being discussed in City Hall. But that hasn't happened yet. And there isn't that many 24 hour restaurants and clubs and bars and stuff like that that are open. Okay, one of those clubs is actually the our restaurants is actually located on Davy Street. And then there's a few more that are around, but it's mainly just the <laughs> Denny's on Davy Street and McDonald's that are really open only 24 hours. But if you know one, another place that's open 24 hours that I'm not aware of, feel free to throw it into the comments. Because of course they just moved here from Toronto a couple months back. Still not completely aware and I'm still learning. <laughs> And that could help me out as well. This is Helmeckin right here uh, that we're going to cross. And of course, that would be heading down towards False Creek along Helmeckin, if you head in that direction. It's also downhill. Okay, let's cross. So on a major street with lots of foot traffic, you will have crosswalk signs. But on other streets, like even for example, Denman, that still has a lot of foot traffic. You won't necessarily see crosswalk signs. You'll have to watch the green lights. When the light turns green, you can walk. When it's yellow, it's best to stop. And when it's red, it's definitely a stop. <laughs> Passing Thai Town Restaurant right now. Mm. 
My name my there's a cafe three bakery here as well and a chicken and pup which is the barbecue restaurant <laughs> I myself, of course, am wearing my handy dollar store gloves. <laughs> no need for heated gloves here. <laughs> Even if it was colder, I'd probably still be wearing those. I wear them till about uh, minus 15, minus 20, depending on the wind chill. So this is Nelson Street right here. And uh, this is Nelson and Granville, of course. If you went south there, you continue down to the waterfront in Falls Creek on Nelson. And we're going to head towards in this direction on Nelson and if you continue all the way along Nelson this way you eventually end up in the West End and uh, right by the Denman Place Mall down on Denman Street. So passing Cantana, Cantina Cannabis on Nelson Street. Of course there's a few secrets here there's a burger crush that just opened or at least I heard it just opened. <laughs> and that's right over here. There's also a Babylon Cafe on the other side. So if you can't get down to Denman Street for Babylon Cafe, it's also here on Nelson Street in the downtown core. So we're now at Howe Street. So this would be Nelson and of course House Street. And Falls Creek kind of curves around the downtown. So of course if you headed in this direction down How, you'd also end up eventually by uh, Falls Creek. Of course, we're going to be passing uh, the courthouses right now and the law offices. And that'll be here on our right, and of course across the street on our left. There's other things like Nelson Square, there's a Honolulu coffee, never tried that. <laughs> a relish restaurant, an RBC bag, that type of thing. And that would be called Nelson Square. But of course, right, we're right here. This is the law courts over here. So let's cross. This is Hornby Street we're crossing right now, and we'll head to uh, continue up Nelson Street here.
So we're coming up to Nelson and Burrard now. And we'll stop. We're not going to push our luck by trying to get across right now. So this is Nelson and Burrard. And if you headed that direction down Burrard Street, of course, you'd end up at the Burrard Street Bridge. And that would take you down into uh, Kitsilano in the 4th Avenue, West 4th Avenue neighborhood. Looks like there's a crosswalk closed on that side. I'm not sure about that. Oh, there is. So, it's kind of across here. Because the other side of the street where I wanted to cross, that is a closed walkway. Of course, here in Vancouver, whether it's cold or not, the fountains are running. Let's cross. <laughs> Hello, we have this new development here called the Butterfly and it's connected to the First Baptist Church at least structurally it looks like I'm confused <laughs> that's okay anyways they got this giant crane they're lifting big things up and those construction guys are working hard and we'll have more housing here in Vancouver that's nice Passing St. Andrews Wellesley United Church. And of course, it's also the location of uh, Van West College. And that provides ESL courses and career training programs. Well, that's nice. I myself switched careers through. Uh, a program for uh, people who are looking for work. <laughs> I unfortunately lost my job at one point in time. I was able to go on EI for a couple of months and uh, I was able to earn a Google IT certificate uh, from the City of Toronto. And Google, of course. And that's taken me all over the place now. <laughs> Sometimes the university isn't the option. If you want a solid career, sometimes it's the trades and those more blue collar jobs. Okay, when you were, or those white collar jobs where you're working directly with computers and stuff like that. <laughs> then you start realizing where you can make the real money. Oh, got a ring. Let's see. Looks like bait gone. Saying I'll be done by four. Okay. Downtown. Of course, it's only 2.30 right now, so I'll be able to get a few walks in for you folks. Of course, this is uh, Nelson and Thurlow. And I did a walk down Thurlow a couple weeks back. So you can do a search for that if you want. And this, of course, is Nelson Park. And it's a large park here. It's over by the hospital, too. So you see a mixed bag of people come in here. People just enjoying the sun. People just enjoying the park space, getting away from the hospital. And other people that just happen to live around here. There's also a community center. That's usually really busy around 3 or 4 p.m. When the kids get off school and head over to the community center.
Nelson Street is one of the main residential arteries that goes from the downtown to the West End. It is, uh, <laughs> often has people walking down it. Usually not as busy as a downtown street like Robson Street on a Friday afternoon or evening, but there'll always be usually a regular constant flow. Oh, this wasn't a community center. So it's not only a community center, there's also the Lord Roberts School Annex here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you live and you learn every day. Very cool. Of course, it's 2.30 in the afternoon right now, so... Or just after 2.30, so we're not going to see any of that right now. <laughs> Let's head on over uh, to Robson Street. I'll do that by going down Butte. It's a four-way stop. Sometimes it's hard to understand who needs to go next. So it's good to be cautious when you're coming to a four-way stop in Vancouver. So we're passing the Berkeley, which is one of the Belmont properties. <laughs> you can see all this bamboo here. The cold does not affect the bamboo. It still grows. It just grows. It must be like eight or nine feet. Wow. Of course, passing Ted North Lane. Ted North Lane was an LGBTQ activist in the area. Oh, it looks like dog meets dog. <laughs> And we're passing Caroline Court now on Butte. Like I've said in previous videos, sometimes when a friend invites you over, and they'll just say, hey, I live at, you know, Caroline Court. <laughs> and instead of actually giving the address, because of course you can look that up in Google Maps and figure out where it is and then come on over. <laughs> It's something that I've noticed uh, the people I'm meeting here in Vancouver do. And usually in Toronto, they'd be like, I live at 888 <laughs> Butte Street. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Unit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> of course, some Vancouverites also provide it that way. So it's not everyone who's doing that. <laughs> but some. So this is the Butte Street Pedestrian Walkway. <laughs> and we'll just walk down here. And then I'll probably catch the bus from the bus stop. So I can go film in another location. Looks like in the pedestrian walkway we had a few workers who were just <laughs> taking a break after a hard day. That's well, nice to see people uh, starting to relax on a Friday, even though it's a little cold outside. Still a good day to get out. It's a partly cloudy day. Um, more sun than cloud. But still a little cloudy. And not a super bright sun like you would normally have. <laughs> Of course, we're coming up to the Brecca Bakery right now. And even now, when it's zero degrees outside, we still have people drinking coffee on the Brecca Bakery <coughs> patio. Wow.
Like I've said, weather doesn't seem to stop Vancouverites. <laughs> Just a lot of them don't get snow tires, so they get stuck in the snow <laughs> when it does snow. Of course, it is supposed to snow in the next few days. Um, probably tomorrow, because it's Friday. So it's probably supposed to snow tomorrow night, overnight. So if I can pop out and get the snow, I will. But I'm not going to be one of those people that stays up all night long just to film a snow video. There's plenty of other walktubers who will do that for you. So feel free to check out their channel. But anyways, that's the end of my walk for today. I'm going to catch the bus from here. So uh, thanks for watching. And remember to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, folks. Have a good day.